guys, this is Christy with Cryptic Chaos again. Today we are going to go over the chameleon powder technique um, that I use and that's really popular in the resin, uh, resin community. So this is, um, this is the stuff that I get. You can get it on Amazon. It comes in a box of eight colors. Um, they're all different and these little containers here try and get it so it's not a glare but you can see on the container what the chameleon powders are it will look one way when you put it in the mold or in the resin and then when it hardens and cures it will be a different color so this here is that yellow chameleon in that corner there. Um, you can see it's a little more faded. But what chameleon powder does is it will change colors in the light. Whichever way you turn it. So the yellow will turn to a green color. Um... The blue will also turn to a green, but it'll be a different shade of green. Um, so this color is actually this one. Around the edges. So you can see it's a brilliant, brilliant blue. But when it cures, it's a little more um, dull. But when you turn it in the light, it'll go back to that brilliant blue color. So these guys haven't been painted on the top yet. I was just bringing them out to show you examples. I love that, that red color. So let's get to it. Let's do this. So with the chameleon powder, I've tried it both ways. Um, I've tried to pour it into the resin and mix it that way. But the easiest way and the one that a lot of people uh, will tell you to do is just to take a paintbrush like this. This actually came with one of the first chameleon powder kits I bought. It's a, it's a round, well, it's a flat round, um, kind of thick, soft brush. You want a soft brush. And you're going to take it and you're going to paint that chameleon powder directly onto your mold. You can get as crazy or as wild or um, you know just do one color or you can do two and blend it. You could do several. You can see right there in the light it changes colors. So we're gonna do a few. We're gonna do a few of my cryptids because that is my name. So this one is one of my newer molds that I picked up mm, less than a month ago. Um, and it's really, really cool in the chameleon powder. So that was that red one that was there earlier. There's a blue. This one um, looks blue, but it turns out green. Actually, and I think I had wrote it on there. Yeah, green. <laughs> That one's purple. And that will change purple, red to green. We've got a red green. And where is it? Um, red, blue, and purple on that one. So, what I like to do, this yellow is um, it's a bit of an obnoxious color. So I like it so much. Do that. I'll do some blue. I tend to keep the caps. If I'm going to do several colors, I tend to keep the caps beside it. And we'll do some red. There we are. Do some red. So you just want to get some of that mica powder on your brush. Like that. 
and it just depends on whatever you want to do this is a blank canvas you know I tend if I'm gonna mix colors I like my yellow at the top because to me it especially on this one if an alien was gonna duck me you're gonna see yellow in the sky but that's just me and don't worry about um, cleaning your brush in between colors or anything like that because what that just did is I started with that blue and I merged it into the yellow Let me get that glare off merged it into the yellow and it's going to create a nice blend of colors do some red the red on the brush and red at the bottom so that's what that one's gonna look like and what I typically do is I put a more powder on the brush than you need so that there's powder sitting in the edges and you take that powder and you want to well maybe I didn't put enough um, you take that powder and you want to do the outside edge to me it's just it's a personal preference because when you fill this with the resin the front will be that chameleon color but the sides won't and that's why I like to do it on the edges Also, another reason why I put way too much powder on there is because I will take a bigger mold like him, like the big boy, take that mold and just drop it on top like that. And it'll take all the excess powder in here and put it in here so that I'm just not wasting powder. So this is a Nightcrawler mold. He's pretty popular at my monster shows. And I think I want to do him red. I'm just going to do him one color, make him easy. And I am just throwing powder in there left and right, getting those edges, making sure that every part of him is completely covered. Because when you pour the resin in, and there is a spot that you missed with the chameleon powder when you're painting like this, it will the color of the resin will show through. So I have done this with black resin. That's uh, the most popular thing to use. I've also done it with brown resin. That, that can work. Um, but if you miss a spot, he will be red. And there'll be a little black spot in there. So I'll take him. I'll dump him into the big man. I'm going to do a night crawler. Sorry, I should have a piece of resin in there. Uh, just a, excuse me, I misspoke. A Flatwoods monster. Just did a night crawler. Speaking of Flatwoods monster, my next show is going to be in West Virginia. It will be at the Braxton County Fair. Um, it is a week long, guys. A week long. Not a day. Not a day and a half. Not two days. I haven't even done a two day show. We're talking about a week. A full week. And I am freaking out trying to get everything ready trying to get business cards trying to get banners trying to get matching tablecloths because we all know that's important when you set up at a show here and we're going to do a little bit of that um, bright blue which turns into green at 
the bottom of her skirt. So the Flatwoods Monster is um, a native of West Virginia. She was seen in the Flatwoods and Sutton area. She is one of my favorite cryptids. Getting those edges done. And she will be really cool. Drop her into Bigfoot. And then we're going to do a Nessie. And that will be, we'll do these two. So we're going to do a red, a red, blue, purple. And the, the, the green. <laughs> Just get all that powder in there real nice and even. Oops. The nice thing, another nice thing about chameleon powder is that um, it does not, when you pour your resin in here, it does not show any bubbles on the front. It will be a nice, even, bubble free front. That's another reason why I love it so much. Okay, so since I have all these out, and well, and the big man is halfway done. So he has different colors all over him. And what I like to do, this is just a fun little thing that I do, is I just take random colors and just tap my brush all around him. Not rub it in yet, but tap my brush to get that mica powder started. in areas all over him. So he's gonna be, he's like my um, graffiti Bigfoot. Get some yellow in there too. Just all over, just Go crazy with it. And I like doing this on the big ones. Okay. And then, when you're happy with your creation, you just take it and you mix all those colors together. So he looks like he just got done creating his own art masterpiece. I wonder what Bigfoot paints. If, if Bigfoot could paint anything, what would he paint? Would he paint people? Would he paint trees? Squirrels? Would he paint his friends, the aliens? What would he paint? No wonder. Okay, and then I take his extra. You can see he has a lot of extra in there. A lot of extra going on. Take his extra and I will dump it into um, one of my empty cups. And then he is ready to go. Put all my lids back on here. So after, um, after the fair, Coming up, I have one more show this month, or next month, excuse me, in August, 
Um, it is also in West Virginia, and it is the Wood Booger Jamboree. Raise your hand if you know what a Wood Booger is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, a Wood Booger is another name for a Bigfoot type creature. So there will be a lot, a lot of Bigfoots going on at that festival. And those are always fun festivals. So I'm going to dump him into my extra molds, or my extra cup, all of his extras out. Okay. I can see he's still got a little bit going on in there, but that is okay. So I was going to do mix into the res, and it'll float to the back. And quite honestly, since he's going to be a magnet, it's not going to matter at all. So sometimes when it's just just that much, I'll take him, flip him over, drop him. And he is going to be a very fun Bigfoot. So now we're going to pour these really quick. Since we are all ready to go. Let me get my mask and gloves on. Lost my gloves, there they are. I've already mixed my resin, I've already put the color in it and let it sit the whole time I've been doing this so that the bubbles can go ahead and get out. But again, the front of it, so I'm going to just do black, the front of this will not have any bubbles because that chameleon powder is blocking the top layer of the resin, and therefore there won't be any bubbles. So we're just going to pour a plain black into it. And I've done all different types of the techniques with the chameleon powder. Like I said, I've mixed it into the resin. I've mixed a uh, white resin and put it behind it. And I found that the black, the black resin behind the chameleon powder really makes that chameleon powder pop. So I'll hit him with a heat gun after I finish the video because it's pretty loud. Pour these two. And whatever you do with this chameleon powder, just be aware that your back is going to be black if you pour black resin into it. I mean, that's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty obvious. But you don't want to do like a piece of jewelry, like earrings or something like that where you can see the sides of it. You don't want to do a sun catcher um, or anything like that with the chameleon powder and a black back. The one side will be so bright and exuberant and the other side will just be black. Quite honestly, I might not have to hit that with a heat gun because I let this sit for so long. So there it is. We're going to let these guys sit overnight. Um, and in the morning, I will pull them out of their molds and we get to see what um, what they look like for the first time. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just message me. And keep it cryptid until tomorrow. See you guys later. Bye.